hello you guys welcome and welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to design this church flyer with coral draw x7 so without any further ado let's go into the video subscribe and click on the bell so you won't miss any video making flyer designs is one of the fastest way to make money as a graphic designer but you see many graphic design beginners find it very hard to arrive at a good flyer design and that is why i've took on myself to do lots of flyer designs in this channel and it seems as if this channel is all about flyer designs but without wasting much time let's get into it so this is Corel Draw S7 and these are the resources I'm going to use for this design and I'm going to link it down in the description so you can download it and make your own design then you can send it to me on Instagram so I see how it looks like and as it has always been I'm going to start by setting my size and I'm going to click here and click on A5 since it's a flyer and it's an A5 flyer then i'm going to make it a5 okay and the next thing i'm going to do is to set my orientation that is to say i'm going to click here and make it landscape okay i need a landscape flyer then double click on the rectangle tool to get this shape and right click here to take off the outline and that looks very cool i'll be working with a red background because i want this flyer to be a red color so i'm going to click here and give it a red color and this looks very nice then i'll bring in this background which i'll be using for the flyer like the one you saw on the thumbnail on this video then i'll simply power click this background inside the shape by right clicking on the picture and click on power click inside and click on the shape then the picture or the background comes into the shape and that looks very nice press alternate on your keyboard and click on the background then set it to this direction and enlarge it this way and this looks cool and I would like to open my power clip so I can edit what I want to do very well. Okay, press control on the keyboard and open the shape like this, or you can simply click here, edit power clip, then adjust this like this. And using the transparency to press shift on the keyboard while doing this, so you can remain on a straight line when applying this transparency effect. Because if you leave your shift key, you can easily make it to any direction. But your shift key will help you to remain on a straight line like this. Okay. Then apply the transparency just like this. And it looks very nice. Now I'm going to duplicate this picture by clicking on the picture. Press control on the keyboard. Click and drag. Then right click before you leave to duplicate. And I'll simply mirror this picture horizontally like this. And bring it in again. To get this feel and i believe that looks very cool and nice yeah this looks okay you just have to place the picture very well side by side so it faces each other like this and i'm going to group the two pictures by selecting both of them and convert to bitmap and why i had to convert to bitmap because i want to apply another transparency effect so it can affect the two pictures okay i'm going to click on transparency tool again and add transparency down here just like this and i think this looks very cool so i have to open up my flyer so i see what is really happening here so click alternate on the keyboard and select the background again so you can adjust the transparency just like this and this looks very nice and okay and the next thing I'm going to do is to create a shape like this. And I'll give it a red color. Right click to take off the outline here. And fill it with a black color like this. With black. 100% black. Yeah. And that looks very cool. Then I'm going to use my transparency tool and apply transparency effect to this other side of the flyer like this and it looks very nice then i'm going to bring my right up which i've already typed and arranged the way i want it to be on the flyer because i had to do this to save time okay then i have to copy it and bring it here 
press control page up to bring it on the top then i'll fix it here and that looks very nice you can adjust the shape again to fit that that looks cool then i'll bring my logo to this other direction can enlarge it a little and this looks nice so next thing i'm going to do is to set my focal point for this design and i have always said your focal point on your flyer design is the title or the theme that follows that flyer and that is the element you want your viewer to see first on the design so i'm going to create a focal point right away so this is the text i'll be using to make my focal point then i have to break this text like this and press ctrl k to break it then I'm going to break this again and this again. Then I'm going to click here and make it to right alignment. Then using my shape tool, I'm going to adjust the line spacing just like this. And I'm going to give this typeface folklore. So this is the type face i'll be using folklore and that looks very cool so i'm going to place this here and then work on this by breaking it again and press ctrl k then i'm going to copy these two text up here and take it closer using my shape tool then i'm going to give it folklore also and enlarge it this way and this looks very cool just placing it side by side with this other text looks very nice okay then i'm going to click on the pen tool and create this line like this and it looks very nice and give this two points then using my pen tool, I'm going to create this angle like this, which points at a direction. While I'm going to align it with this line, just as you can see, and it looks very nice. Yeah, I'm um, give it a white color. Right click here to take off the outline, and right click on white to give that outline a white color yeah i'm going to select the angle and press shift select the line and press e to centralize the angle with the line and this looks very nice and next up is to give this increase its tie face so i'm going to use road rage and this is it i'll simply enlarge it this way till it crosses that and i'll give this a white color and this looks very nice all right and this shall greatly and this other typeface here will be gold color before then i have to type this so it looks very nice okay so guys there is a gold few color gradients i created some years ago and i've been using these on my designs anytime i need a gold color i've been using this so i'm going to pick it up and fill it on this text here i'm going to link this gold color gradient down in the description so you can download it and start using it for your designs i'm going to click here and copy this and bring it to my flyer design so this is the gold color i've been using on my design so i'm going to fill it here right click and bring it to the text then click on copy few here and do the same to this other text again and copy few here then you can delete this off so this is the gold color gradient and i'm going to adjust it to fit what i want i'm going to adjust it again and that looks cool adjust this also so this looks nice this is the gold color gradient i've been using in my design so i'm going to group all this 
and press Ctrl G on my keyboard to group them. Then set it to the direction you want it to be. Then I'm going to add the perspective effect on this text by clicking on effect and click on add perspective. Then you can adjust this perspective like this. You might not be perfect or you might not do it the same way I did it but you just know how to set your perspective the way you want it to look like. Now the feeling why I use this perspective effect following the title on this flyer my letter N shall greatly increase. I want this increase to look big while the text on top looking small because it will help to explain the text itself okay and that is the my own view on this text before adding this perspective effect and that is the text i'll be using here so i'm going to add shadows after adjusting my perspective effect to my own text to how i want it to look like i'm going to add shadows to this by clicking on the shadow tool drop shadow tool and add shadow then you can adjust your shadow to fit exactly how you want it to look like i need it to be on this other direction sorry so this looks cool this looks really cool you can adjust the transparency and adjust the feathers take it closer a little looks really nice i'm going to drop that there i think i should adjust the shadows again and that is okay the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in these two pictures these two main pictures to my flyer so i'm going to select the two pictures right click and drag and bring it to the shape where i want to power clip leave then click on power clip inside that looks really cool then I'm going to open up my power clip again and adjust like this. I'm going to shift the pictures closer. I think this is okay now. Then I'm going to group these two pictures since the the color of their clothes matches each other already. There's no need to adjust or add transparency there. It looks very cool that way all i have to do is to group the two pictures and place them very well then i can convert to bitmap because i want the two pictures to work together while i add the transparency effect down here just like this then i can close my power clip to see how the picture looks then adjust it out here like this sorry Remember when selecting an object inside the power clip, simply press alternate on your keyboard, then select the object, and that looks very nice. Okay, I think that's okay, and I'll convert it to bitmap again because I need to add another transparency here to fill this part of the picture with the background and blend it just as you can see. It looks very cool. And it looks very nice but the problem i have is that the pictures are not blending with the background so all i'm going to do is to adjust the tone on the picture and make some adjustments on the picture and that will look very cool so what i'm going to do now is to press alternate on my keyboard and select the picture then click on effects click on adjust and click on tone curve then you can bring this down a little and take this up a little then you can see it's beginning to match the background and this looks very nice yeah this looks cool because the skin tones now match with the background and I think that's okay and very well So that's okay and it's very well then the next thing i'm going to do is to create 
these little shapes for these pictures which are one two three four five six i'm going to create six shapes here for these pictures click and drag while clicking and dragging you can press ctrl on your keyboard so this shape remains on a straight line then right click before you leave and press ctrl d to duplicate and that's six shapes then i can adjust like this um this looks cool i think that's okay all right then i'm going to give this a yellow color and right click it to take off the outline while i bring in all these pictures and power clip inside the shape like this okay this is supposed to be here and this here and this here okay then i'm going to adjust the pictures inside the power clip using my alternate then i'll simply adjust all these pictures by pressing alternate on my keyboard you can adjust them like this and this looks great okay now when designing your own flyer I know you may not have the same pictures you may not have the same write-up but at least you have an idea on how to do this stuff you have idea on the tricks to follow and every other stuff then i'm going to fill this background with orange color like this then i'm going to copy the fill on this background and fill it on this other background by simply right clicking on the shape and bringing it to this other shape then you see this option you click on copy fill here do the same again do the same again do the same again and do the same again so you have this look on the flyer then i'm going to use my shape to click on this node press shift and click on this other node and give it this round curve like this then do the same here again give it this round curve and this looks pretty cool and nice and the next thing i'm going to do is to copy this here looks nice then i'll copy this here and i think that looks pretty cool then i'll copy this here you can enlarge it and fix the names accordingly okay i'm going to centralize all the names with the picture by clicking on the names and selecting the picture then press c just like that to centralize all these names and do the same here then all these names are not on a straight line so i'll simply select all and press t to make it on a straight line then you can see this name joins together you can simply adjust this like this just to give it a little space i had to break the rules though i know them but that's not how to adjust a text but just have to do that to adjust them from being together then i'll select all these and bring it down here and enlarge this a little then i like to make this to align to the left select both of them and press 
R so it aligns to the right sorry not left then I'll bring in this Jesus is Lord it looks too big and that's okay can simply adjust this a little so this looks very cool and nice so the next thing i would like to do is to fill this background with black i would like to fill it with black using my fill tool and fill it with black just like this and this looks very cool okay that looks cool so this is the final look of our flyer design this is it if you're interested of watching other videos on flyer design done on this channel click on this video and begin another flyer design tutorial and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet kindly subscribe and click on the bell so you won't miss any video thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you next time